Positively Jacks, helping local students de-stress before next month's rigorous testing schedule. Four canines were brought into Paxton School for Advanced Studies. And as News for Jacks reporter Khalil Maycock explains, students say they serve as a good reminder to prioritize your mental health. <laughs> As students walked toward the courtyard in Paxson School for Advanced Studies, they were met by four calm canines. It's just like straight happiness. Most of the students, eager to do one thing, pet them. You're just surrounded by a, big bunch, a bunch of fluffy big animals. They love each other. <laughs> Kaden, a student who didn't want to speak on camera, says this is the highlight of her day, getting to interact with dogs from pet partners of North Florida. Raleen Sullivan with the school's Parent Teacher Student Association says they bring the dogs here to help students before big testing periods. So it's pretty much just a nice little program where the kids can just relax, de-stress, and be calm. These four who didn't bark at all were touched by dozens. They're among a group of four-legged friends who've been to the school three other times this year. Each time they were visited by a senior who didn't want to be identified. Just having a moment to like pet a whole bunch of beautiful doggies just really fills my soul with happiness. And uh, it's just a very good emotional reliever. And some students can take pets off to the side by themselves for about 10 to 15 minutes to get their own personal pet session in to get that stress away. <laughs> to have personal sessions, students must have signed permission slips. And the student who didn't want to be identified says the school bringing the animals here is their way of showing they care. Well, I just kind of feel like having that conscientiousness about mental health really helps students feel supported in their educational. The VP of Paxson says she has talked to people at Pet Partners of North Florida about bringing the program to other high schools next year. Hold